Hey, so this is a video response just in regards to um, the phone board with the dual identity. Um, I know this video was a while ago, but because I'm still true myself and it's something that's so rarely heard about, um, just to see a video like that really gives something to think about. And I think that it probably not provokes, it's not a good word, but it encourages um, conversation about not just the dual identity, but I think the multifaceted identities of being Chinese, whether you're Shanghainese, Belgiu, Cantonese, Mandarin. Um, I think in our particular group, especially for Southern Chinese people, and when, we, when you think about, you know, it's not just the Jew, it's Hakka, Hokkien, it's, you know, all these different um, groups. Well, like, well, technically Han Chinese, but we all have our own distinct cultures to Chinese but it's another strand of Chinese in a sense. Now for me as a Chinese Cambodian I do also recognize myself as first of all Cambodian. Uh, my parents are ethnically Chinese but my parents were also born in Cambodia. Um, born and raised, um, my family still in Cambodia so we've taken on the Cambodian identity in that sense and because of that you know we speak Cambodian, I speak Cambodian here at home um, I eat Cambodian food and I follow a lot of Cambodian traditions. Um, but it sounds just like I'm Australian because I'm born in Australia. Um, I'm Cambodian because my parents were born in Cambodia and yeah, I can even breathe it. Um, at the same time, I do see myself as Chinese, but I mean, I speak the Chinese language as in Deju, not particularly that well, but um, you know, I don't really practice much of Chinese traditions except Chinese New Year and I guess with funerals. So it's something that's it's hard for me to really grasp because I don't really I don't know, I don't really follow it because I never was really raised into it. Um history comes into play a bit, so I think if you're if you're a Chinese Vietnamese, you know, you tend to have a strong affiliation with being Chinese because I guess in that sense Chinese weren't that well received within Vietnam as compared to say Thailand or Cambodia so um, that type of history does play a lot of thinking I think because Ch Chinese people were well more well accepted into Cambodia and Thailand and Laos it was easier for us to take on those new identities and I think that's why me as a Cambodian takes on that identity more it's more natural to me because you know that's what I grew up with but yes true um you do choose your identities I choose to identify myself as Cambodian first then I guess Australian then Chinese um and that's something that could change as you grow older so I think it's important to note that identity is something that is fluid just like sexuality is it's You'll always be something, I guess. What I'm trying to say instead of saying it's probably fluid is not the right word, but the more you know, the more you know better how to word and feel what you are. I think that's probably a better way of saying it, actually. Because we're always learning. And I guess that's why I'm saying, like, it initially said it was, like, fluid. Um, but, yeah, I hope that that's another aspect to think about maybe I don't know yeah well there too Cambodian Australian Kakinang Kong Khmer follow up <laughs>